He says, in remembrance of me. When you honor Jesus Christ from a sincere heart filled with gratitude, he will remember you. When we're living to remember Jesus and all that he is, he will remember you. That might not like this day, gonna be short, but I'm just gonna tell it like it is. In remembrance, this is Jesus speaking now. Uh -huh. In remembrance of me, calls for the highest sense of honor to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lord. We remember presidents on one day out the uh -huh. year. We morning they remember our fallen soldiers one day out the year. But we all remember our Savior. He said, as often as you do, you can do it every day when we are honor. But when you do it, do it in remembrance of me. Of me. All right, I want you to understand that when we honor, that's what this field is all about. When we honor Jesus Christ, we honor the one who is the Lord right. of heaven uh -huh. and earth. Amen. Some of y'all are not trying to look at some church folk. Uh -huh. They'll put hundreds of dollars in the Sweet 16 party and won't show up at the Lord's Supper day. All we do is show where your true loyalty is. We must be on God. Uh -huh. That we don't distort the meaning of the Lord's Supper for us. Uh -huh. So some of this poor attendance might be my fault. But it won't be out today, but I'm telling you. Amen. Amen. How important it is. Yeah. I, I know what kept a lot of folks away. They read that word and heard somebody say, Well, he said that you claim from the word and you claim judgment. You got to keep on reading. Talking to same folks. Right. He said, God, look at me. Yes, yeah, some of y'all are sick, some of you fall asleep, some of you weak, talking about damn it, you take it. All right. All he right. said, I'm ready, you don't need to call me, I'm ready, 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 a lack of knowledge. Amen. Amen. Somebody figure out what the other one is. That's what they say. Okay. Well, I want to educate you. All right. This, this is the most important thing. He said, he, he did this for us. I know. You want to remember by running to the door because we sinned? You were a sinner when you pulled the fire. Amen. How do you know a sinner when you got home? Well, oh, not only you, but I want to. Yeah. I know. Don't let that run you out the door. You ought to look forward Amen. to the curse. Have you taken that difference? I'm a stupid person. A false son. Yeah. But on third son, you ought to be here. Amen. We don't want to destroy the meaning of the Lord's Son. That is what the Corinthian church was doing as they observed this God's feast. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they were doing. Mm -hmm. Some showing up early, uh -huh. some showing up late. Some slipped out eating during the service, uh -huh. eating up all the food, and had a little wine. Some of them were drunk, he said, by the end of the service. Uh -huh. And they were trying to stir the pope over and nothing left. Uh -huh. That's that unworthy stuff he's talking about. That's what caused the church to be a minute. That's what caused the church to be weak. Selfish attitude is all I'm saying. It was intended, the Lord suffer, I mean, to be a time of sharing and fellowship. But it degenerated into a time of ill will, uh -huh. division, uh -huh. arguing, yeah. and selfishness. Well, well. So when they began to observe the Lord's Supper, uh -huh. it was not a time when Jesus could be honored. Well. So he's not honored when we back with somebody and come here talking about the taking of the Lord's Supper. Right. He's not honored when we back the back of a petty issue. We not want to be satisfied with it. And it's all about you instead of being all about you. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Graham. Now, I'm going to just tell the truth. All right. We may not be carrying on you to the extent that they were doing in the Corinthian church. All right. But to attempt yeah. to observe the Lord's Supper uh -huh. in an attitude of selfishness hinders the church from giving true honor to Jesus Christ. We've got to be on one of God. Amen. So if we have to give.
forgiven every one of us, how come we haven't forgiven one another? So there are a couple of questions that we ought to consider if we are to truly honor the Lord Jesus Christ when we gather at the Lord's Supper table, which we'll do in just a few minutes. So the first question, of course, is why do we observe the Lord's Supper? Just like Mom and Dad used to say, and Grandma and used to tell us, uh, you can sin, you do it because you told us so. All right. Mm -hmm. Tell us to do something. Mm -hmm. We told them, Dad, look, that's why. They asked about everything now, but we, we asked about what they did, because I told you so. Amen. Right. Amen. In other words, I'm not going to tell you to do anything that's going to hurt you. I'm going right. to tell you to do something that's going to help you. Amen. Amen. He told us so. Mm -hmm. yep. He gave a specific command to us. He said, this you need. Uh -huh. I'm commanding you to do this. All right. He's telling us to do it. Do it. This is a divine uh -huh. command uh -huh. that is to be, first of all, obeyed all right. by continuing uh -huh. observance, which we do on the third Sunday, uh -huh. and frequent, frequent remembrance. All right. When we observe it, uh -huh. we all remember See, when I was young, I didn't quite catch what the other one was saying when he get ready to go to the Lord's Supper table. He said, see how they turn my Lord. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It took years for me to begin to really appreciate what he said. All right. So when we obedience uh -huh. and continue to observe this meal uh -huh. frequently and remember our Lord, uh -huh. this keeps us in a state of watchfulness as well as waiting Paul lost Amen. Amen. He told us to do what? Watch and wait. Be watching for his return. Uh -huh. Be ready when he comes. Yeah. It's one thing to just sit there and wait till he comes. Waiting and watching yes. are two kind of different things. Yeah. Waiting, that means what a lot of folks do. They sit there and don't do anything. All come out while he is too. He comes with the Lord. Yeah. He also comes to Amen. Amen. When you're watchful, uh -huh. that means you're doing something while you're waiting. Right. Right. Well, right. There's one thing to sit at home and wait when you're watchful, you are out there witnessing, letting folks know that it's getting late in the evening right. and the sun is going down. Jesus has promised he's coming back and all the signs are all over the place. We know that he's coming back, so you better be ready when he comes back. It means watchful means you are up on the whistle, sir. It means you look forward to the Lord's supper day. You can anticipate his coming. You want to be ready when he comes. Amen. 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 Not just wait. Yes, Lord. Thank you. You know, sometimes later in the afternoon, when I'm putting a good day at work, I prop my foot up on the desk and everything. But I don't want the boss to come in and catch me with my foot propped up on the desk. I'm going to catch me right. Yes. Right when he returns. Yes. Watch him. Yeah, I know. Being in tune with the Lord's supper has just become watchful. Uh-huh. Remember what he's done to me. Nobody promised. Yes. The observance uh -huh. of the Lord's supper is awakening. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh.
to return. He said he's coming back. So what you want to find you doing when you come back? Let him report me that you got saved and just wait. Or that you got saved and you watch while you were waiting. Also, I'm going to run off for a little while. Come on back to this door. But it's just all tied together, though, because when we really know who he is, when we remember who he really is, we'll know that, first of all, he is a good shepherd. Amen. A lot of shepherds out there, he is a capital G-O-O-D. Good, good shepherd. Amen. And we are his sheep. But now, usually when you find sheep out there on the pasture of the mountain, you find some goats around too, don't you, Brother Mitchell? All right, good. But we are his sheep. Uh -huh. He's a good shepherd. We are his sheep. Uh -huh. We are his people. Yeah. The sheep of his pasture. Right. We enter into his gates with thanksgiving yeah. and to his courts with praise. Right. We are thankful unto him and we bless his name right. because we know the Lord is good. Sure. Yes, yes. This mercy You see the sheep, mm -hmm. we're told in John 10, mm -hmm. the sheep know the shepherd's voice. All right, all right. And they follow him. I am ready. They follow him obediently. Mm -hmm. Wherever the shepherd leads, that's where the sheep go. Uh -huh. They're the docile creatures, they're the humble creatures. They follow yeah, yeah. the shepherd because they know his voice. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, there's some goats out there in the church too. Uh -huh. All right, man. And goats <laughs> don't know the shepherd's voice. Right. Any shepherd's voice sounds good to them right. if it's what they want to hear. Goats have no discernment, uh -huh. no loyalty, uh -huh. and no desire to follow the Lord. Yeah, they got the bird kingdom in town. They want to have it that way. Sheep and goats, you know, may shadow. Same pasture by day. Well, uh -huh. But when it gets about nightfall, yeah. the shepherd will separate the sheep from the goats. Right. Because the sheep have sinned up to know that they need to get some rest. Right. And then goats aren't like that. They are all like bullet and carrying on. Sheep understand I gotta go to church tomorrow. I, I wanna be alert so I can receive the message, receive the word, and I can grow a little bit. But the goats out of all my long shoes. Party, they have a good time fighting, aggravating sheep. You sit there waiting to see what time they're going to come home. And you come to church all burn out in time because the goat didn't get you all night long. All I'm trying to tell you, sheep are unable to rest in the company of the goat. Goats are always up to something. Yeah, I don't know what the pastor said, but. I said, but. I said, all goats do is find a butt for everything. So when we come from third Sunday, we come like obedient humble sheep to honor the great shepherd who's done all this for us. But now, not only that, but we must also remember that he's not only the good shepherd, the great shepherd, but he's also Jesus who's talking about in the king. That will sit on the throne one day, in Matthew 25. Uh -huh. okay. And he will sit on the throne in judgment. And he will separate, the Bible says. What he will separate? Who he will separate? The sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on one side All right. to be blessed forever. All right. He will put the goats on the other side to be condemned forever. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the goats. Wonder why they got there. They were surprised they were there. They wonder why they got there. Uh -huh. Because they didn't do all these things that he mentioned when I was in trouble. They didn't come see them. I was hungry. They didn't feed me. They didn't get a drink. They didn't get a drink. It wasn't because some of them don't do that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. but, but it's not the reason that you don't get the roof of life again. Right. Uh -huh. right. He said you get to at least one of these. It, it's for safe right. folks. Safe right. folks don't do it just to get recognition so they can hang up here Save those good because that's what Jesus saved us to do. Yeah. We are God's partnership in Christ Jesus created for good works. Yeah. And please remember that 
there's going to be a day uh -huh. of separation. Yeah. And the ghost will be rejected. Well, not about the good deeds and bad deeds. None of us get to have on good deeds and bad deeds. They will be rejected because they rejected Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So what you pick up your mind today, what you're going to be? That's right. Well, sheep. Sheep or lamb. Sheep or home. Faithful. Depending totally on the shepherd. Yes. Too many of us still try to do it all the way in this way. That doesn't work that way. The Lord's Supper reminds us that there is only one way of salvation. This is so important because there are all kinds of doctrines floating around out there. And it seems like no now that some folks get the further they move, the farther they move away from God. Amen. So you need to know that you know that you know that you know that you know that Jesus. Is the only way All right. to heaven. Yeah. Said so himself. John 14 and 6. I'm going to run away with the cross. He says, I am the way. I am the way. Truth and the life. Yeah. No one can come to the Father right. except by me. Yeah. One way. One so if you know he's the only way, why don't you put it first? Amen. If you know he's the only way, why don't you serve him? Why don't you worship him? Yeah. Why don't you stand and call his name out and say it for him? If they run you off the job because of the name of Jesus, you've got a better job for him. Amen. You can work with the wrong people anyway. Amen. Oh, who truly believe in the Lord Jesus, uh -huh. eat of the same bread, it says so, uh -huh. and drink of the same cup. Do you see the unity in this? The oneness in this? When we come, that's why they say the whole little thing gets somebody to go out the door and wait till the supper's over. Because this is for folk who are recognized that we can't do it by ourselves. All right. we, we, we have to have help from Jesus. Yeah. He's forgiven us, we have to forgive one another. Amen. He loves us unconditionally, we have to love one another unconditionally. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't get that mixed up with this world. Because somebody knocking up your head, they don't love you. Amen. 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 You work and pay everything and don't do nothing, they don't love you. Amen. Amen. We have only one second. Yeah. If I tell you to just put it in first. Amen. Honor him. Amen. Not just on the third Sunday, but. Especially on the curse. Yes. Make it a day of remembrance. Yes. He's the only way uh -huh. to the Father. My He's our only ticket into heaven. This observing the Lord's Supper is a witness to the world of our devotion to Jesus Christ. Right. How can you say you are devoted to someone uh -huh. and you never show up at the meal that honors him. You My never Lord. show up to show the world right. who he shot at you on. Yeah. Never show up to let folks know how much you appreciate what Jesus right, has done for yeah. each and every one of us. Right. Yeah. Observing the Lord's Supper demonstrates that we believe in him mm -hmm. and we yield ourselves not to our own way All right. but to his way yes. mm -hmm. and we know that sometimes in fact most of the time his way All right. is a most difficult way right. it's a way that when we look at it, uh -huh. we really don't want to try to travel that way right. because we recognize that we can't make it that way on our own and when we go his way, uh, we're going to need some help. Yeah. Too many folk, even folk in the church, are uh, uh -huh. trying to go the broad way. The uh -huh. broad uh, yeah. is the way. Yeah. And wide is the gate yeah. that leads to the church. Narrow uh -huh. is the way. Yeah. And straight yeah. is the gate yeah. that leads to the church. 
observe the Lord's Supper, uh -huh. we should examine ourselves. Yes. 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 Says we ought to examine who? Oh, ourselves. Yeah. Stop being Mr. and Miss Disney and worry and talk about everybody else. Right. You got to stand up here and take this meal for yourself. Yeah. So you ought to examine yourself. All right. And the question we ought to ask, I've been hitting on it all throughout this message, how we forgive them others. Right. Uh -huh. Same way uh, that the Lord uh, forgave us. Uh -huh. right. Now here's the difference, uh, but I'm going to try something. Uh -huh. right. You said you forgive me. Uh -huh. Every time you turn around, you bring it back up. Uh -huh. yeah. God forgive you. Yeah. He's done with it. Uh, give you uh, a brand new heart. Uh, give you a brand new start. Uh, examine yourself. Uh, and if you find something uh, in you uh, that is unseemly or uh, ungodly, uh, we ought to uh, do confess uh, our sin uh, to the Lord. Uh, examine yourself. Uh, Stop being a busy body. Examine yourself. Then confess your sin to the Lord. And he will cleanse you of any attitude, words, or action that are displeasing unto him. And God all right. I'm trying to get out your way. But before you accept uh, and observe this meal, uh, we must uh, observe uh, the Lord's Supper uh, in the spirit uh, of love uh, and uh, unity. Help me out, John. Uh, can I get on with this? Uh, must be uh, in the spirit uh, of love uh, and uh, Unity, we have to ask ourselves a series of questions, not have they, but have I, have I been patient, have I been long-suffering, have I been kind, have I been jealous of anyone, Never, 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 never
Yeah. 
good choice for me today because I know the judge. All right. All right. I'm probably folk when you know the judge. Okay. You have a unique relationship with the judge. I know. When he told me I'm already taking care of you, son. Amen. This is the Lord's Supper. Paul, go and read that chapter for yourself. You read that and I'll tell you about it. That's what you're talking to the trade. Talk to the same folks. It's all these things happen. God has to judge you so they can discipline you. So when you come, you come as one body. When you come, lift up one Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Honor him, remember him. I promise you, he'll remember you and your children. Yes. Amen. Your children, children. Yes. Amen. And we'll stop. When we start filling up the Sunday school class, and the church will stop filling up the jail and the hospital. And the Amen. Because we have turned from God. Yes. And God has left you to your own devices. All right. All right. There's a way that seems right to a man, the Bible says. And at the end of that way is what? Destruction. Don't be scared to say death. Death, yeah. And yet Jesus also is alive. Not just in the world coming, even here. We have to be scared. All right. He got the angels that are kept around your house. Ah. So when you keep that grandchild, that keep that little folks through your house, he got angels to protect you, that grandchild will give you that grandchild. Back to the test now. For I have received of the Lord that which I also deliver unto you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which you were betrayed, took bread. When he had given thanks, he break it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the sign of my also he took the cup. When he had supper, saying, This cup is the New Testament, new covenant in my blood. This do you have coffee as you drink it, again in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death to the world. This is a meal of fellowship, a meal of strength and love and unity, as I've already said. So we pray now that the Lord will. Help us as a body not to drink this wine and eat this man of It simply means in the wrong manner. That means we have to forgive everybody because we recognize the fact that Jesus has to give up. We love everybody because Jesus loved us first. And he loves us so that we can return to share his love with others. Thanks, man. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Let thine will be done on earth just as it is in heaven. Lord, we are praying that you would touch our hearts and our minds. And that we will release any evilness and thoughts or deeds from within us. That we, we may be able to partake of this table, to eat of your body, and to drink of your blood. Lord, let it not be damnation to our soul. And that when you do return again, that we will be ready to be received up into your kingdom. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.
Whoa! 